Hey everyone, something a little different this time. We're going to be making a dog toy. Uh, I'm making these out of regular cotton. Um, however, if you have a particularly boisterous pooch, um, consider a thick fabric. Um, denim would work really well. Um, I'll add a link in the description for this template. Take your fat quarter and fold it along its longest edge with the right sides together. Fold it again and rotate it so that your folds end up at the top and to the left. Draw around the template. I'm using heat erasable pens, love these, uh, but anything is fine. Apologies, I really need to work on camera angles or rather being within them. Now pin all those layers together. Cut around the marked lines, again started off camera, Og. Uh, I should point out this isn't wasted fabric, uh, it'll all be used in other projects. Unpin and unfold, but try to keep the pieces roughly together. No panic if not, it just helps to reduce the time it takes uh, as opposed to having to line them all up again. Pin the two pieces right sides together. On one of the flat sections, pop in a couple of extra pins um, just to mark where you'll be sewing from and where you'll be sewing to so that we remember to leave a small section open for turning the fabric out and obviously stuff in.
So sew from one set of those double pins all around the project using a quarter inch seam allowance right the way round to the other set of double pins. Remember to backstitch at the beginning and at the end so that there's no risk of pulling the stitches out when we're turning and stuffing. Clip around the curves of the bone shape. Uh, honestly, I prefer to use pink and shears. Uh, they're much quicker, but I've left them out of reach and I didn't want to waste a bunch of time fetching them. Don't panic though, I'll run the video forward. Carefully turn the fabric right way out, no need to press this, uh, we're going to stuff it and anything that reduces ironing time is great in my opinion. Oh wow, says I'm lazy. Fill with toy stuffing. Make sure you add plenty and really poke it into the ends of the bone. Fill the two ends and then pop in more stuffing in the centre.
and I'm pausing the video here. I only went and forgot to put the squeakers uh, in there. This though would be the point to add them. Push them in between the stuffing you've added and then add more stuffing to cover them up. Of course, I could have pretended that I didn't want them in there, but that would have been dishonest and kind of confusing since they've been sat right in front of me the entire time I've been filming. Uh, I didn't realise this until the end and you'll spot where it dawned on me. The act of pushing all that stuff in inside tends to push the raw edges of the opening inside. Uh, if it doesn't, just give the opening a little tug on both sides and the fabric should pull inwards. Uh, now, for any regular viewers, you all know I'm not a fan of hand sewing. Um, but with all that stuffing in there, it's the easiest thing to do. Simply hand stitch the opening closed. Again, I'll run the video forward so you don't have to watch me slowly stitch the entire thing closed. Oh, and check out these self-threading needles. They're great if you struggle with threading needles and they're not expensive, so worth a shot. They're particularly good um, if you quilt and have lots of ends to tie off. Uh, but I generally use these whenever I need to hand sew anything. Um, when you get to the last stitch, loop the thread over the needle and pull it through. I generally do this. I, I generally do this twice just to secure that last stitch. And that's it. These are great for craft markets as they don't take too long to make, and everyone loves buying gifts for their pooches. You may not think just over twenty minutes is quick, but remember, I was filming, and there's nothing stopping you preparing lots of fabric beforehand. There it is. I was about to stop filming and suddenly spotted those darn squeakers. Anywho, as I said earlier, pop them in between the layers of your stuffing. Hope you enjoyed the video, despite the missing squeakers. Please give it a like and consider subscribing if you don't already. It really does help and a little kindness costs nothing, right? Until next time, happy sewing.